Everybody's seen that in Yo Gotti Baby Mama Only fans that Nooski and Moneybag Yo was with JoJo Splat and Straight Drop in a white bands a day before the whole situation happened. And the funny thing is that Nooski and Moneybag Yo was tag teaming Yo Gotti Baby Mama at the time and posting it on the OnlyFans. And they slipped up because they did a vlog. And you could see that they was in the white bands. They switched the white bands. This white bands gets switched around all the CMG. They use it to run packs, do music videos. That's how CEO Bobby had it. And he signed for a little bit to um, Black Youngster. And Black Youngster co-signed him on a car loan to actually get that car back then. But once CEO Bobby got kicked out, then uh, Black Youngster repoed it and gave it to his, uh, his light-skinned baby mama, girlfriend, to to go use it. And at that current time, the man that she was with, he was using it to run packs because he was um, Nooski friend. And once Nooski got signed to Moneybag Yo, then they started doing an operation bigger and gave the car back into CMG. And one straight drop split from uh, under the umbrella PRE. Then that's when him and Sha Shondell Barnett was able to get that white bands and have somebody um, drive with them because there was three deep in it. And you could see that they three deep in the footage that there was three people and they all had gray sweatpants on. And one of the dudes that was in the passenger seat, he kept trying to uh, cover his face with this hat. And the hat was like a fisherman hat and it said uh, Bass Pro Shop on it. And it was black. The same hat from the picture that you that MPD dropped on their Facebook of the suspects. And that photo was edited too. Because that photo was edited so it didn't show who the driver was. And it didn't show... Um, them designer, uh, they didn't have regular sweatpants. They had Celine. They had Celine sweats on. And they edited the photo. You could see that they edited their arms so that they could take the Celine off. And what was really happening was is that they was coming, acting like they was going to shoot the music video. But they hopped out and did a whole hit <laughs> uh, because the people on the inside held, held uh, Dolph down. And so... Only people that wear Celine is rappers. You see like Birdman wearing Celine, NBA Youngboy, uh, Dirk, um, Drakeo, all them people. So even, um, yeah. And, and now what you got to keep in mind is that why is it that Nooski and Moneybag Yo was with them in that white bands the day before? And then now Nooski ends up getting popped and Moneybag Yo is still up. So... Nooski knew what the plan was, and he was supposed to be taking the spot of uh, Cornelia Smith. And so they, Nooski said no, and Cornelia Smith ended up doing it. And since Cornelia Smith ended up snitching on everybody, then they had to get Nooski because they were like, dang, Nooski, if you wouldn't, if you would have just did this, then Cornelius wouldn't have snitched and we would all be free. But nah, you had to uh back out on us and and uh whenever you break loyalty with CMG they take you out the hard way. They don't care how ugly it looks, they don't care if it look obvious, they take you out and, and clearly that's why they catch all these cases. Um so yeah that's the that's a big update because not a lot is not a lot of people that have Yo Gotti Baby Mama only fans to figure out this information. And so once that video leaked that they was riding around in the white bands. That's when we got it. We instantly got that footage and posted it for y'all. So this the footage of um, all of them. It was people three deep riding around in that white bands. The same exact bands. Same type and everything that was at Makita's Cookies. And they had dipped out and had a fight um, right after that. And that's how they got that dent on the side. Um, that you see in the picture from uh, when they at Makita's, it was a uh, they had a fight. That's when Nooski was like, "No, I'm not doing it." And he, uh, they have 
a struggle and he pushed up uh I think it was a straight drop he had punched straight drop and pushed him up against the the car and threw him and it dented like that back little wheel area and that's how that dent came up in uh in the photos and that's how they found the car was because of that dent and so this is right before they had that argument and so it was breaking news that um Newski got popped because of an argument that he was getting robbed and uh shot for so um that's why it was that argument stemmed from when straight dropping them try to recruit him but he said no and so they try to uh, fight him because he already knew too much and so but he knocked out straight drop and made that dent happen in the car and now straight drop trying to get retaliation for that because they straight drop about to leave town so they about to straight drop getting his case possibly move to kentucky uh, to have estg lawyer represent him because they made a petition saying that no lawyer would take them if they keep the case in Memphis because they're worried about their safety. So the petition is about to be signed saying that they can move the case to Kentucky and have ESTG's lawyer represent Straight Drop. And because Straight Drop is moving out of town, he feels that he can make a move in the streets real quick with the phone call because he's about to leave in a couple of days to go to Kentucky <clears throat> when they transfer him. And he gets one last chance to make something happen in the streets with a phone call and nobody's going to be able to touch him in the cell because he's still in the red jumpsuit until he gets transferred to Kentucky. And when they transfer him to Kentucky, that's when ESTG lawyer going to try to represent him and get the uh, charges dropped down to a lower level. Just like uh, last time with the CMG lawyer, Pierre. And so if he can get it dropped down low lower then straight drop going to be in uh general population in Kentucky, which is going to be filled with CMG people, which then they're going to welcome him at home as a hero. And what's going to happen is, is that it's like, it's like he's going to go, he's in like the wrong uh, type of uh, jail right now. He's in the PRE jail or he's in not a PRE. He was in, the, he's in the jail where it's most of the people that is not with CMG. They're not PRE either they're just not with cmg they don't like him you know and so that's why he got beat up but when he gets transferred to kentucky that's a cmg prison and that cmg prison is going to treat him good there because they all cmg people i think yogadi donates to it and so what's going to happen is is that he's going to be able to have it easier over there plus try to have a chance to actually get a lawyer to represent him that's on their side because he meant he's a attorney for the uh, ESTG who on CMG Yogati's label. And then on top of that, it's all CMG mobs in there. And so he's going to be having it easy there. And so that's the update that's going on. And once they actually get him transferred, we're going to try to get somebody to um get a picture of him getting on the bus so until then stay tuned subscribe to the channel make sure you guys share it give it a like and uh, let me hear you in the comment section